There's another Indian hate site, Bully Buy, auctions off Muslim women. On New Year's Day, an app called Bully Buy uploaded hundreds of photos of Muslim women in India to be quote unquote auctioned off in an attempt to degrade and harass them. This app is considered to be a clone of the app called Suli Deals, which was available in 2021. According to the BBC, Suli is a derogatory Hindi slang term right-wing Hindu trolls use for Muslim women, and bully is also pejorative. Um, many of the women featured are prominent journalists, activists, and public critics of the rising Hindutva violence in India. Although the Suli Deals app was taken down uh, uh, last year, a week after its launch, no further steps were taken to prosecute the people behind it. On January 6th, the Mumbai police arrested four individuals behind Bully Bai. All of them are between the ages of 18 to 21, and three of them are engineering students. So I wanted to cover the story because this has been receiving a lot of attention on the Indian news sites that I follow over the past week. And um, the media coverage of this is like a kind of a secondary item that I want to talk about itself. Um, but this has received a lot of outrage. So this is a site where um, there's so many different aspects to this I want to cover. Um, it was featured on GitHub, and it was supposed to be where you can go, and then you'll see photos of women who, like I said, are like um, basically Muslim women, primarily of the elite. So even like Malala was on this site to be auctioned off, where you could like bid on these different Muslim women to be your maids, basically, or to I mean, like claim ownership of the bodies of these. Yeah, it's a troll website. It's not like literally you get any of these women. It's just like no. a way to disrespect. It's just a, it's a way to disrespect them. It's a way to disrespect Muslim, Muslim women. But yeah, go on. Yes. Um, and I, so, but there's, there's so many different aspects. To, so what, first of all, one, the first thing I noticed is that a lot of the imagery used in this app was made in a way to frame the Sikh community. So, um, this, languages that were used in the app were in Punjabi and there were little logos that made them look like, uh, I saw one logo that looked kind of like a little Sikh dude with aviator glasses. So th those two things together were combined. were like obviously trying to make it seem like this originated from Punjab or like a Sikh community. Um, however, we now know that that is not the case. Um, the, the, two people who have been well there are four people who have been arrested but there are two people who have been like kind of the primary suspects and one of them is this guy who's 21 years old from assam and another one is an 18 year old girl i can't remember where she's from um but this has been receiving a lot of attention and i think um it was really interesting to see the contrast between how the sully deals um fiasco was handled where basically after the site was pulled down, like no further steps were taken against the people who were doing this targeted harassment against these Muslim women um, versus this time it was ha handled very swiftly. So I was talking to one of my friends from India about this and she gave me a perspective that I thought was important because this is a little bit more local um, saying that Partially the difference in how these were treated was because last time with Suli deals, it was handled mostly by the Delhi police, which are infamously, notoriously controlled by the BJP. But this time... BJP the, the, people who don't know is the part, is the, is the main power, is the main part, uh, pa party in power in India, uh, Modi's party, and they are far-right ethno-nationalists. Yeah, so, yes. so basically the, the, the police over there would be sympathizing with these bigots who would do something like this. So that's why they would be less harsh. But this time, go, sorry, I just had to clarify yeah. for people. Um, no, thank know. you. That, that's this, good. Um, yeah. This time it was handled by the Mumbai police and things were handled extremely swiftly, which I, I thought was interesting. Um, thank you, Mumbai is, police. Since this has happened... There's been a lot of controversy online surrounding this. Um, Rudresh is saying, fetishization of women in certain communities is very common. 
some do fetishize Muslim women. This is well, not that. This is attack. This is like a bigot form of bigotry. Yes, but the computer of the twenty year old twenty year old twenty one year old oh. guy who's behind this apparently <laughs> The, the Print India reports that he appears to be a, um adult video addict with a um, obsession with Muslim women who are older than him based on the videos oh. found on his computer. What the hell? Okay, so what's the motivation here? Why are these people doing this? Like, so this is like a... And why are they trying to frame the Sikhs? So this is like a Hindu, Muslim, Sikh community... Mexican standoff, such like what is this? I don't like this is no, so between th like this. This didn't come from Punjab. This had nothing to do with the Sikh community. I know. This I is know. someone like, who is a hi it, Hindu supremacist trying oh to God. frame. I, no, 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 no. Sorry, that's what I said. So this is a a Hindu. Uh, There's a Hindu supremacist trying to frame the Sikhs, making it seem like it was them who were attacking the Muslims. I, 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 I. I that's what I said. Yeah. So I wasn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't say that the Sikhs were involved. But why were they, do, do we know why they were trying to do this? So I read a really interesting investigative journalist piece about the um, main guy who's been accused of this, who's been arrested. His name is uh, Niraj Bishnoi. And um, since then, he's actually been suspended by his university because of this um, and expelled. But um, so they did a deep dive into what they found of some of his online presence. And they found all these posts from him on Quora, which is like a question and answer site, um, for those who don't know, from when he was like between the ages of 16 to 18. And even that far back, which is like 2017, um, he was answering all these posts and you could tell that he firmly believed in Hindu supremacy back then. Mm -hmm. So this isn't something new to him. We don't know about his motivations so much as he is a Hindu supremacist and um, that uh, he, uh, the, I saw some reports saying that there is some evidence to say that he is, um, was involved in the original Sully deals, although they're not oh. sure to what extent. Somebody predicted that we're going to get spammed uh, by Hindu nationalists for, for going, for reporting this story and he, this person just did like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten A's before I blocked them in the live chat. So guys, um, you're you not even commenting to... on the username Armin, which is, Oh, Oh my God. I just noticed the username. Jesus Christ. Uh, which is a call for genocide against Muslims. Oh my God. I don't, I don't even know if I should have highlighted that. Jesus Christ. But guys, you can see like when we're telling you the truth, like the stories that are happening, you can see that that we're getting attacked, and there are so many people that there are a lot of Hindu supremacists who, like, guys, we have been doing this for a decade, and the amount of aggression and attack and trolling and intimidation that comes from the Hindu supremacists has never we've never experienced anything like that from any other community. It's like in, insane, right? And somebody was predicting, like, yeah, like, we're going to have while we're reporting. Like, this is, like, the truth. Like, this is what's happening. And people get butthurt for us just telling you what's happening. And they want to come here and just, uh, they're, they're trying to remove us on Facebook, on Twitter. I mean, they have been successfully removing us on Twitter. They're trying to, like, uh, attack the live chat. And they tr keep trying to give us strike on YouTube. So, please, like, we have this to deal with while just we're just discussing with the rest of you what's just happening, right? So, please, um, um, please share our videos or give a like or leave a comment. That really helps the algorithm, okay? So, thank you for, you know, for, for anybody who's liking the video. But, yeah, go on. Sorry, Sus. Yeah, well, and more background on the people behind this. Um, so, this, this guy, um, Niraj, so he seems to kind of be a typical profile of someone who's very antisocial because to do something like this, you have to be very antisocial. Um, and by that, I don't mean, oh, you just don't like people. Antisocial in the sense of you do things that is antithetical to social coercion. That's more of a psychological definition. Um, 
And so he he fits like the stereotype of just being like, oh, you know, a total um, loner. Just he like talked to his parent. His father talks about how he never left his computer. He had no life outside of his computer. The other interesting thing is there's this young girl who's involved, this 18 year old girl. And she um, recently lost both of her parents, one to COVID and then one to cancer. And so people are trying to excuse her actions on the basis of the recent death of her parents, including um, notable atheist Javed Akhtar, who was basically asking for forgiveness for her because of what she's going through, which I thought that was like, um, he received a lot of backlash for that. What do you think? I, I'm sorry, I'm miss, I'm, I'm, we're getting constantly attacked in the live chat. I don't know if you saw the username of the other person that just came. No, I did. It was almost disgusting. Yeah, I just had to, like, yeah, I'm not going to highlight them again. I'm just going to keep um, banning them. This is, yeah, yeah, maybe I shouldn't be highlighting. But I, the people are saying don't highlight the names. I just want to, I just people, I just want people to see what we're, what kind of filth we're dealing with here. Like, like some, some, some Ghostman saying, Army, stop highlighting the trolls with the call to Vanessa's name. I don't like. I don't. I want people to see like what who who are who's on the other side of us. Just highlighting the news like this. Unbelievable. This is like guys. Like this is such a big problem, and we're not even in India. Like imagine what the what we had to deal with if we were in India. Um. Okay. So regarding the story, sorry, I missed the last part that you said because I was just dealing with the spam in the live chat. Um. I'm sorry for not paying attention but i i do want to ask you about i do get a sense that a lot of race uh supremacists or like ethnic supremacists or religion supremacists or whatever you want to call them um what they what they tend to one thing they obsess over is owning women from people they consider in, in inferior like I see that in white supremacists, Hindu supremacists, um, and you know, like some other forms of supremacists that I don't even want to mention because some people might say they don't exist. Um, I, I'm just gonna say black supremacists, right? Um, I see that like they they all seem to, tend to have this common thing, like they are very they they want to. There, there's this thing about Mm, putting the woman from the other, from the inferior races or ethnicities or communities, putting them in their place, owning them as sexually using them in ways that they're not okay with. Like, I, what, and that's the whole, like, that's what this whole auction also seems to represent. Like, you know, like fantasizing over just buying them and selling them over like, like in a slave market. It's just very, very a right a far right leaning attitude that you I kind of see in other right leaning um, far right far right uh, communities as well. Do you tend to see that as well? Oh yeah, I completely agree. I think it's because it's their belief that through um, uh, dominating and abusing the other's women, like it's a way to subjugate the in, the entirety of their like opposing class so to speak. Like they think that if they can claim ownership to again, quote unquote, the others women, then that, that, then they are de facto emasculating the men in the other group as well, because in their view, like what kind of men would allow this to happen to their own women? Only weak men who are, who can be dominated would like, would allow such a thing to happen. I think, I think, and it's also a way of um, taking away their possession, so to speak. It's like, oh, we're going to steal your own possessions from you. We're going to steal your own women's from you. Um, and uh, it's also a way to um, spread your own genes. 
I mean, if yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it leave it at that. All right. Um, yeah, that was that's. Uh, I'm, I'm Wait, still. Wait, before we move on, I wanted I wanted to note something kind of funny. Um, so what was funny was I saw a lot of Hindu for people online praising this guy and saying, "Oh, he's a hero" and all this stuff. However, um, the <laughs> so their their hero is a man who, um, according to um, the police, whenever they try to um, whenever whenever the interrogation reaches a certain point, he pisses himself, and this has happened yes. three to four times to the point. I of heard that in asking, live chat. I, I saw huh? that in the live chat. I didn't think I thought that in the live chat. I didn't think it's true. That's actually true. Like he's been pissing that, himself every time he's been questioned. Yes, to the point that the police had to see if he had a medical condition, and he and he doesn't. Every time he gets questioned, he's pissing himself. Honestly, like I can't feel sympathy for this guy. Like this is, you know what? You deserve everything you're getting. Um, what is this tweet? Um, so mm. this tweet is from Ishmael Ara. It's um, a screenshot that she posted of herself being abused on Bully Buy. And um, mm. so it's just her, you know, talking about how she found her image of herself, like being, um, you know, quote unquote auctioned on this website in her experience of it. And um, this is how, you know, like over 100 women started off 2022. This is how they started their the new year. Yes. What's interesting is um, a lot of um, these women are journalists. And so I follow one of the women who was targeted by this and also talk targeted by Solidios. Her name is Rana Ayub, and she does a lot of really good reporting on um, uh, Muslim issues in India. Although, you know, I do have uh, I do get tired of her incessant use of the word Islamophobia, but I'll leave that aside. Um and in this, she talks about how um, she talked to another woman who was targeted by this app and how this other woman actually has never wore the hijab before in her life, but started wearing the hijab because of the it, it being stigmatized as a way to identify like our enemies, which was, refers to um, like this quote by um, Modi. Because, so she... It, I thought that was a really interesting perspective talking about how there are Muslim women who they've never worn the hijab before in India, but now they are choosing to wear the hijab as an act of defiance, um, which I thought was a very interesting perspective and something that's worth reflecting on that, um, you know, a lot of women wear it for religious reasons, but there are other women, including here in America, where they wear it um, because they want to be openly defiant to powers that want to abuse them. Um, okay. some, some, you have some, some comments you want to highlight? Yes, yes. Uh, the live chat is getting very interesting because we're getting a lot of butthurt and um, Somebody saying, <laughs> some people are grabbing their, their popcorn. But so we have, um, okay, let me unhighlight this. Like, like we have, uh, this one is the most interesting one, right? It's easy. <laughs> Um, you are lying. Talk about Muhammad Armin, your God. Apparently, they think I'm a, for people who don't know. A lot of people think that, uh, and it, look at this. A lot of people think that I must be a Muslim because I'm attacking Hinduism and Hindutva. These people like scared to, they're t asking me if I'm scared to talk about Mo. Right? I don't even, <laughs> Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> right like guys i just wanted to show how ridiculous the people like me okay like i don't do i even need to say anything me okay um and then but so he has said why you, first of all they don't even understand what muhammad role I, i'm not even going to explain these things they're like fake, <laughs> he's, gonna, he's calling me fake shell and then frauds there okay and then Susanna, this is the first time that you're getting accused of being Muslim as well. It's usually just me. <laughs> Where did her job, Suzanne? <laughs> 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 
this is this is beautiful this is beautiful you guys i don't oh even need to make God. i don't even need to make fun of hand dudes for seriously i just need to highlight them i just i just need to highlight them oh my uh, gosh they're telling me to cover up <laughs> if like look at it if you're more like they think like they're offending us by attacking muhammad is this <laughs> better <laughs> Is this better? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! God, and this <laughs> is ridiculous. Why did we? Why did we ever go after any other community? I never knew going after Hendutva was this much fun. I'm gonna make. It, I'm gonna. I'm gonna dedicate the next couple of decades to this. Um. All right. Uh, <laughs> I take away your reputation. All right, no, okay. All right, people don't know that. <laughs> Not I take away your reputation. People don't know that reference. Okay, so okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. Um, um. Okay. Can we? Let's move on. Do you? Um. Can we clap for the next news? Well, all right. Wait. The next news is gonna. The next news we're going after Islam, but I don't know what yes. the Hindutva. I don't know what the Hindutva guy is gonna do. Like his he's head gonna, might explode. Yeah, I think he's gonna think we're doing Tekia te or something like that, right? Uh, oh no! Oh wow! He's like, look at this. I'm reporting this. You will go. You will go delete it. Okay, you do that. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Abhabi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below. 